Hello, Eric Computer Guy here. Welcome to the Optiplex 760 upgrade video. Today I'm going to be talking about the upgrades already in the computer and the one we're going to be adding in. So the Optiplex 760 has a Core 2 Duo E8400, which is the original to the computer. It's a 3 gigahertz Core 2 Duo. We have 4 gigabytes of RAM to work with, which is kind of anemic in today's standards, but due to unforeseen events, I could not secure an upgrade kit in time for the video. I do plan on making a future video of us upgrading this a little bit further. A bigger SSD mainly, Windows 10 instead of Windows 8. And on top of that, a GT 1030 instead of the GT 710. We're gonna be adding in a wireless card today. We're gonna be adding in this bad boy here. It's only gonna be a temporary card. As you can notice, this isn't PCI Express, but the older PCI interface. The computer doesn't have PCI Express X1 or 4 for a modern wireless device. Windows 8 should be able to recognize this, as Windows 7 can pick it up no problem. It's originally designed to run with the Windows XP machine. But in order to get it to fit in the computer, I do not have a smaller bracket, so we're going to have to take this one off and just let it sit in there with friction. Allow me to get the toolkit and we'll start taking this card apart. Okay, I grabbed the toolkit, my little hyper tough 77 piece electronic repair kit. I believe the screws on this should just be the normal Phillips bit. It's kind of hard doing this with the camera. Yep, seems to be just the right bit. Just drop that in the case for now and we'll put it into the safe keeping for later. Got this one too. As you can see that the bracket just comes clean off at this point. I'm going to leave that ring on there if I can. I'm going to set the card down gently. Put the toolkit away. We're going to move this bracket into safekeeping. And let me adjust the camera so we can install the bracket. Or the bracketless wireless card, but you know what I mean. All right, we're going to be installing a nice, new, modern, wireless technology to this computer. First time this computer's ever had wireless. Let's get this going. It's going to be difficult to line it up, though. But it shouldn't be too hard to get it in there. Mainly because we don't have the bracket. There we go. I think it's in. Let me attach the antenna. so nerve-wracking right now I'm not gonna lie get that reattach that the antenna's in the card should be good to go let me grab the panel put it on and put the monitor back on top and hook up a keyboard and mouse and plug power in let's give a moment of silence for the satisfying click this will make beautiful all right, I'm gonna hit the power button and we're gonna see what happens. The fan should rev down in a second. Oh, that's not good. We're gonna have to go to setup, I think. Why won't it let me to set up? Fatal unknown exception occurred in sector 18 physical offset. Okay, that's not good. That definitely is not good. Okay, we're gonna give this another try. I'm going to hit that power button and I'm going to mash F2 in hopes we can get into the, um, the BIOS. Gonna? Woo! Okay, that's good. That is good. We're going to take a look at the system logs. Nothing modern. 
in that area, okay. System configuration. Okay, I don't see anything there. All right. We'll just see if it recognizes it on its own. Hopefully it does. Because I'm kind of running out of ways to connect this thing online. I have no modern anything I can use. All right, we're gonna go in the control panel. The only way I can get to that is through computer. We're gonna go to, well, I know how to get there. Device manager. I'm gonna see if it will just update. Yeah. It won't do that, will it? We may have to reinstall Windows. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is, is reload Windows 8 to Professional onto the computer in order to get the driver. As a driver is something just basically within Windows itself. We're gonna load up a fresh 64-bit install once again. Hopefully this works. It should. This is how I got Windows on here the last time was with this trusty Windows 8 DVD. I've never seen Windows 8 DVDs in person up until I acquired this one from my grandfather two Decembers ago, almost now. We're going to... I see how to get the power options here. I'm still... Oh, I forgot, you gotta... Just gotta hit the power button. It's easier on Windows 8. Hopefully this works, we can get up to um, Windows 8.1, where it's got the start menu button that takes you to the Metro screen. But you know what I mean there, we'll, we'll get there. All right, we're gonna boot from the onboard CD-ROM. It should not take that long to install Windows 8 from CD. Or DVD, rather. It's not a CD. Same thing. They're both compact. You know, they're both compact discs. So, who knows? It, it's all up to you, I guess, how you want to call them. CDs, DVDs. I have to punch in the good old little product key. Comes on this little card, actually. I don't know if any of you have purchased Windows 8 before, but it comes on a card. Kind of really itching to get my hands on a retail copy of Windows 8.1. I almost did back when it came out, but I just, I couldn't justify the price. As stupid as that sounds, back when Windows 8.1 was out, this was like 2014, I was 13, so buying an operating system at I think it was $129 was kind of like, ouch. It still hurts buying an OS today, but it's a lot easier than, you know, back when I was younger when $129 plus tax was a lot of money to, you know, to anyone who's 13. Okay, it has finished doing its installation. We're going to call the computer Optiplex 760. I'm going to click next. I'm not going to bother changing any of the personalization. I'm going to use Express Settings. I'm going to create an account called Admin. That's good enough for this computer. Hit finish. Hopefully this wireless device works. Fingers are crossed. Because if they don't, we are really kind of out of luck for today. I already tell you this isn't even the proper resolution, so I'm gonna have to get the flash drive. All right, got the flash draft, so we're good. Slow old Cruiser Glide, 16 gig. 
Yeah, there we go. Focus on the camera. Okay, we're at the let's start. It didn't really take that long off of a SSD. I'm gonna install this drive. I'm gonna see if that's not good. It's just like retracted into itself. There we go. Gotta see. Yep, I'm gonna have to do the over the phone activation. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I just wanna get a driver installed and of course, no network at all. I think we're just gonna install the driver so that I, after this, I'm gonna have to figure something out. I'm out of time as it is to film this video. I have to move on to editing it today and I really have no more time I can put into it at the moment. It looks like the Optiplex 760 upgrade video is a partial success. We're at least running a modern version of Windows that is not based off of the Aereo interface of Vista and 7, but we have no networking. We're getting driver support right now, so that is a good thing for the video card. But other than that, this computer is missing audio drivers. Any other drivers, I'll have to source those drivers as well. I just want to get video on here for now to get the computer at least displaying 1600 by 900. The aspect ratio of the SyncMaster 2033 monitor I'm using. This monitor dates back to the age of this computer. They're both from 2009. I do have a Dell UltraSharp that was featured in the um, 83, the Dell Dimension 8300 overview video. And the UltraSharp is the one for this one, so. We'll get the HD audio driver installed. Unfortunately, this will mean that we are in a current situation where we have no onboard audio. That driver should be easy to find. I may end up downloading Snappy Driver and then hooking this drive up to said computer that has the Snappy Driver installation or a folder basically, and then just copy the folder over to this. I don't have a flash drive big enough to do that, but that should at least get all the other drivers taken care of for now. But as it stands for the video being completed today, it's not looking good. I'm gonna be quite honest. We're really just out of time to do anything else with the computer today. It will also give me a bit of an advantage to having to delay any further testing and diagnostics on this computer because I can get a wireless dongle for the computer and any other computer I want to hook up wirelessly at this test bench. And I can also get my hands on another 4 gigabyte RAM kit for this computer. So with that being said, this is the end of the road for this project as of right now. I'll see you guys in the next one.